If you take a drive through downtown Lethbridge, you'll see some brand new window paintings that were done by the University of Lethbridge Art Society for the upper floor of the Volunteer Lethbridge building. And I have to tell you, um, I wasn't here for, for the painting, so when I drove up the first time it was done and I saw it, I just it made my heart swell because it's just happy and uplifting and celebratory. And I think that's something that we you know, we need right now. And I truly think it brightens up Fifth Street tremendously. Jensen says that it's been incredible to have the community embrace Volunteer Lethbridge for 40 years, and just to see the large amount of volunteers that have come through the ranks over the last four decades. This year, the Volunteer Awards will take place in a virtual setting. We are forced into a bit of that format this year, but um, we're really looking forward to celebrating those that have really stood out this year. The idea for the paintings just felt like a natural fit for the two teams to collaborate on. Anytime that, uh, especially student artists or emerging artists, anytime that we're you know, given an opportunity to, to share our, our talent, oh, it's, it's always a pleasure and it's always something mm. uh, fun to see. Leah Kuchermanos is the Art Society's president, and she says that having fine art downtown allows people to remember the important role that art has in the community. Everybody's thinking about money and funding, and arts is the first thing that usually gets cut. Mm -hmm. And yet it's the, one of the main things that lifts people up, and color is color and paint, and it's just such a beautiful experience for your everyday life, and it's so important, and I don't I think that gets forgotten in times like this. The Volunteers of YQL Awards will take place on April 22nd, and to register, you can visit Eventbrite. For Bridge City News, I'm Micah Quinn.